All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Allied General on the Mysterious JG. I did a little searching between videos. Uh, yeah, the vi major victory conditions here, we'd have to take, like, El Gala and Mirsa Vrega. Like, we'd have to grab these uh, lo locations the Germans start with. In Panzer General, it was pretty much always... You had to take all of the major... All of the, like, you know, lit up objective cities on the map. And if you did it with a lot of turns remaining, you might get major... If you have few turns remaining, you get minor. And if you don't take them all, you get loss. Allied General really mixes it up. We could... Uh, we have the entire 13 or whatever turns to take all the cities, but it's kind of difficult to get all the cities. Uh, in this case, my biggest concern, though, is trying to rescue this tank unit. So let's see if we can do that. We had an opening on the last turn. Everything had to go perfectly, and it didn't quite. So let's hope we get a little lucky here and they don't get wiped out. Oh, wow, they're really putting a beating on those Matildas. I don't want to lose the Matildas either, but they're less important. Because they're not a core unit. At least they won't retreat backwards if they are forced to retreat here. I just hope they're not forced to retreat. Oh, boy, they're barely still alive. And they got infantry attacking. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to make a confession, folks. Uh, I don't like to save scum. <laughs> uh, I didn't do any save scumming in the original Panzer General, and my reward was that at the end, after getting major victory on every campaign... Every scenario, in the final scenario, I managed to not get major victory, and everyone told me I was the worst ever. So I'm not save scumming. But I will tell you, if the very first turn of a video goes bad, I might just reset the video. This is my second attempt to play this this video, because, in the, because the last time, that unit got wiped out immediately, and it was just crushing to my soul. <laughs> so I will admit, is it save scumming to toss out a video because the first turn didn't go well? Eh... Maybe, maybe a little, a little mini save scumming. I don't usually resort to save scumming, but I, and this one I was like, hey, you know what? I just started the video. I don't feel like dealing with this shit. <laughs> so I'm going to throw down a save. But we're also going to just, uh, really try to take this scenario home now because uh, I want to, I don't think that was massive luck that things worked out that way, but it was definitely, I got more luck than I did last time. So, I've only got one ammo left, so whatever you do, this will be it for you. All right, cool. Getting some real experience for these guys now. Oh, man. Open guns out on the field. I thought maybe I could do something with them. But no, it's it's tough to get experience for fighters in any way other than shooting down airplanes. Oh, but they did fairly well there, actually. So this is actually... Uh, this is actually uh, an artillery unit, even though it kind of looks like a tank. I think the most valuable thing we can actually do here is get rid of the artillery. Because these these tanks are going to be very hard-pressed to do anything against my uh, entrenched infantry with artillery backing them up. And these guys are now going to cover the retreat of those other tanks. So it will cost a lot of prestige, but on the next turn, we can use... Like, I don't know. They, these are the emails of people. Who, I don't know what this is about, honestly. But uh, we should be able to use whatever prestige we have, and I can't seem to tell how much we have to reinforce these guys fully. But I could pull these guys back one more to make it that much... E no, I'll just leave them right there. 
You guys, on the other hand, I think I just want... Oh, I can't reinforce you at all. They may be a lost cause. Because I'm not allowed to reinforce them. They can't even get ammo. But if they sit there and get more... I mean, they can eat up the turns of the Germans, but I'm going to be losing prestige as they eventually get wiped out. What can you guys do? I, j I don't want to waste a lot of their uh, ammo. Because they may reach a point where they are firing defensive rounds on like every turn. Really wish I could reinforce you guys. Oh, well. I, I mean, how much luck can I expect to have? I got this unit out. I'm going to be able to get a minor victory here, get, get some experience for my core units. I guess I should be happy. It's pretty early in this whole thing. I don't know how, to what extent I might be able to turn the tide and retake some of what they took from me. I think this is going to be it for them. And I'm going to lose, uh, lose prestige. They'll take that city. But that's as far as they're going to get here. You are out of ammo. Now, elite replacements. All right, they are now full strength. I could even start over strengthening them if I wanted to. Entrenchment level of nine. You are also out of ammo. I don't think I'm going to pull up. I think I'll just hang back. But yeah, we've lost a unit. We've lost two units, but they were both auxiliary, and that's. That's gonna ha that's gonna have to be good enough in this uh, in this uh, in Allied General. Panzer General, I was super careful never to lose any units. And Allied General, I, in these early campaigns with the Germans just have, I mean, like I start with like three tank units, and that's because I bought tank units last time. I've already wiped out some of their tank units, and they've got like they've got four showing, and I think I've already wiped out two. So like, yeah, you're you're starting out in a position where you're gonna have to be able to take some losses. I think. But they can't be they can't be that high because obviously you're already they've already got more than you. You can't start making even losses with them. But they have not uh They haven't been uh reinforcing their air. Oh please come on, wipe them out. Oh come on, I want the experience for you guys. Oh, they should have gone after these uh infantry. You didn't kill them? Boo. I don't think I lose... Uh... Okay, that was a mistake. But I didn't lose entrenchment. And they got experience.
I think we'll be able to start taking some of this back by the time this battle's over, but... We might be able to wipe them out. I don't know if we'd have enough to uh, retake anything. Because the Germans will have some infantry and anti-tank over here to defend their main objectives. And again, we don't actually want to get a major victory here. We, we want to get the minor victory because that'll be what um, sets us up for, you know, having a more interesting extended campaign and getting more shit. And by shit, I mean experience for our units. Um, other than the fact that I should have attacked with you guys, so you guys had at least some option to fight somebody else. I think we're doing okay. These guys have 66 experience. These guys have 75. I'm really trying to get experience for the artillery. That's difficult, though. Yeah, these guys. The fact that they got into all those fights and came out alive was really good for their experience. Even though it's kind of lucky that they survived all that. I'd like to have a 15 strength British tank unit by the time this is over. They may not attack. The, yeah, we've kind of got them trapped now. Like, they've got a series of battles that are not to their advantage, and the AI is not really going to maneuver around to uh, to do anything about it. Hold on. All right. I don't know if this came up. No, it couldn't have come up before. This is the first battle where we have air units. Because they have limited fuel, if they these red hexes indicate they'd be out of fuel and would be wiped out. So... Or, yeah, that if they flew there, they could not get to... They could not get to a friendly, a currently held air, airfield without running out of fuel. All right, excellent. Their experience is now 96. They've almost got a full metal... That's cool. This is Italian infantry. Probably not the biggest threat that's on the map right now. It's more likely to be you guys. Wow. German infantry uh, recon vehicles. Basically fancy-ass cars. Doing all kinds of damage to my fighter bombers. I think we will make sure you have more ammo. Good job. Still, it's so hard to get experience for those guys. Don't want you guys sneaking down here and taking the airfield, actually. Every time I take the one damage that I'm capable... Ugh, whatever. That got them some good experience. They're now almost, uh... Have a full medal. So, um... Yeah, I had a real close... Like I said... Quasi saves coming to get this unit out alive because the first turn of the aborted video went so poorly, but still feel a little bad about having lost auxiliary units because I wouldn't have settled for that in Panzer General. But an allied general, you've gotta you've gotta be willing to take a few lumps early in the campaign before you start to turn the tide against the Germans. They have so much armor on this map. Alright, well my dreams of overstrengthening these guys are about to go down the tubes, although they didn't actually get damaged there. And as you can see, like, this, we were pretty aggressive fighting these guys. Like, trying to hold uh, McKeely, we didn't just completely, my initial strategy was just to form a defensive line here. I kind of was mixing it up with them here, but like, to get a major victory, we would have to take these two cities. It's just not, it's, it'd be really, you'd almost have to, like, trick the AI to do it. 
like stymie them here and have like a, se a secret force just like steamrolling after these cities early. I mean, for fun, we can kind of try to try to play with that now. You would take two. You would do two to these guys. What could you do here? Two. Okay. Man, those uh, recon vehicles are just deadly, apparently. Okay, you are out of ammo and about to crash, so let's get you back here. They'd probably really devastate these guys. Yeah, let's just take what we can off the freaking map here. Gonna need to get. Uh, gonna need to spend the next turn with these guys, getting their ammo back. Cause they can run out of ammo if, uh, if like these guys and these guys, like if these guys move here and attack, and then these guys attack, and then someone else moves up, they can get depleted all of their ammo on the next turn if I'm not careful. So I should be, you know, careful. In the meantime, the more Germans and Italians we kill, the more prestige we get. So let's just make them pay for having ever thought that they could take to Brook from us. All my air has acted. Oh, damn. Just hoping they would get a chance to, uh, it would be fun as to take just one, but not both. That would be a big prestige blow to the Germans. If these guys came over here and took back uh, Mercer Brega. Okay. I just keep wondering if magically more uh, auxiliary or core units are available to me. Let's end the turn now. I don't know if the, they've made anything of the fact that, uh, what if I just flew over here and started the next turn over this city? These guys are entrenched. So there would be risk involved with attacking them on this turn, but I can I can start working on them. What I'd like to do is bomb them on the next turn, then bomb them again to get their entrenchment down and then attack them with the tank unit. Every 100 experience or one star is, I think, oh, nice! That put him over the top. Every full medal, which I think of as stars, because it's much easier to keep in my mind for some reason, that will give them an extra initiative point. Like, that that basically increases their chance of winning. It, I think how it works is that, like, their initiative score plus their number of medals uh, will will be the RNG that determines who fires first in combat. So having 99 experience and going up against a unit with zero experience, you have the same, you know, your, your initiatives will determine. But getting 103, as he has now, he will have an extra point because this one, this, uh, the seventh great British uh, Spitfire 2 unit is a singular male entity. It's a guy, <laughs> I've decided. Your ammo is low. You don't have enough experience to really overstrength, sadly, but we will replenish your ammo. They have not attacked very much. Usually I can get them to attack a bit, and they lose, and then they stop. But in this case, they're not really doing that much attacking. You have to be a little bit careful with the Matilda here. They could run out of ammo, too. Let 
Yeah, they're down to three. This is a... Attacking Mercer Brega is kind of going to be risky for this unit. But it could go really well for us. I probably... The smartest thing to do would have been to hold them back and just overstrength them so they would be really strong in the next campaign. But I like the idea of taking this city and getting a bunch of extra prestige. I don't know how much prestige the Germans have if they can add a bunch of junk units here. But with saves coming, like we bare, like we almost have enough turns left to actually take both those cities with this one tank, if we were just really lucky. Except now we literally don't because we got two turns left. What I'm surprised by is that the Ger the Germans aren't pulling anything back to defend, probably because it's too late for me to take those cities or for them to arrive before this scenario is over. Uh, I still don't like this, actually. Because they've got Entrenchment 6. And I'm barely expected to win. I should have just pulled them back so they could get Elite Replacements. Uh, oh, what the hell? Let's try it. If they get Rugged Defense, I just retreat. They did not get Rugged Defense. Good for me. So now these guys pull back on the next turn to refuel. These guys come out, bomb them, and then these guys see if we can actually get them to retreat from Mercer Brega. But probably this is too little too late as far as a counterattack goes. And we would have had to take uh, Elagela to actually get a major. So I was fighting for a, a, a minor victory all along, and that's exactly what we're going to get. Nice. I think what I think I'd rather do. Well, no, I don't have enough turns to do it, do I? This is the second to last turn, isn't it? If I give them elite replacements on the next turn, they have ten, and they don't have enough turns to get up higher than that. So I'm better off flying them over here, so that they can kind of just shoot at Elagela and be jerks. Poor Italian infantry is just sort of standing there taking this. Like they're not, they're not having the sense to move out of spotting ra or, uh, range. But I, you know, I was reasonably smart about this. I took out their artillery, so all they've got now are a bunch of tanks that the German commander. Because it's again, it's the AI sees the same like projected loss as I do. So like their projected losses here would be really high. Because I've got Entrenchment 9, it's infantry in fortification position with artillery behind. So rather than just, like, throwing their stuff at us to, to like, take losses, but also gradually deplete our fortification, they just kind of freeze. Uh, and I, I've said it before, the AI is better. Uh, AI in this game is not fantastic, and the most difficult Panzer General missions tend to be ones where you are facing a, you know, large German force... I'm just going to pull back for now so that I can give them elite reinforcement on the final turn and get them up to 11 strength. Oh, no, they don't have enough. Oh, they do. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the uh, the mosquito unit that's flying overhead. But, um, yeah, the, the toughest missions in Panzer General were the ones where the enemy had a lot of forces. Uh, and they were, like, pre-laid out in really good defensive positions, like artillery and anti-air and infantry in the right places to make it a difficult... You know, the cities became difficult nuts to crack. Uh, and then the AI... You could lure the AI out by presenting them with opportunities to attack that would lure them out of the fortification, but otherwise you just had to break their fortification. And the AI itself wasn't that smart about it. It would just occasionally reinforce units that you wish that hadn't, and but mostly they just sat there and... You had to figure out how to beat them. But when the AI is on the attack, we'll, and we'll find out the same thing with the Russians. Like, sometimes you just don't have anything that can stop them. But if you can kind of stymie them a bit, like, they're not going to be good at coming up with a, you know, okay, the first plan didn't work. Let's come up with a second plan. That's not really the AI's strength in this game. 
Did we use all of our air units? I think we did. And they didn't really reinforce uh, air either, which was very handy for me. So this will be it, last turn, I think, because they got a turn, which they won't do anything with, probably. Oh, these jerks. Now I can't do my elite replacements. Because they came down here and found them. Okay, well, I mean, I should have attacked instead, then. On the last turn. That's too bad. Oh, if I could make them retreat, that would be nice. Get a little bit of extra prestige. But we got rugged defense instead. We still got them to retreat, though. Soften them up so they don't counterattack. Okay, because if these guys attack, I don't think they'll march out of the city they're defending. But if they attacked, we might still, after all that, manage to lose this unit. But we took Mercer Brega, which I'm pretty happy about. Let's make sure you guys don't do anything stupid on the last turn, like take my airfield. Because you messed up my plan to overstrength these guys between... Uh, between missions. And you guys really didn't get any experience here at all. You just got parked in a really good defensive position and then nobody was uh, willing to attack you after. So I don't know why I'm saving now, but I'm saving now. Adding a new slot. But this should be it. I'm not going to be able to show I mean, I, I, there's ways I could show you what the text is for a major victory, but I'm not in a position where I can get one. So... There is a way to do that. I can uh, go into the sound files and play the uh, the mission outcomes for major for uh, major victory and for loss. But if we end the turn here, we're going to get our cannon ending. Will they attack and kill my tanks, or just leave them alone? Allied minor victory. where one single British soldier gets like, it looks like about six or seven, depends on, is that a head? Is that a head? One, two, three, that's four. That's, now is this two guys or three guys? At any rate, this guy here is doing God's own work, getting them all to surrender. Would you like to review the battlefield? Yeah, okay, so we'll go ahead and throw down a save here because this is the ending we want. We can play around next time. Maybe I could do it here. Like, how would I... Uh... Well, we'll get, the, uh, we'll get the mission brief for next time. No, we won't. Hold on. We'll get the mission brief for next time. I think I can just go into the... Yeah, we can go into the voice files here. Let's try to see if we can find out. British 1 defeat, British 1 initial, British 1... L and M. One is for major and one is for... I'm not sure how that works. So what if we had lost on this mission? What would have happened? Next time we'll open with the actual... What we... Well, I'll tell you what. We'll find out. This would be initial... I guess D is for decisive, L is for loss, M is for minor. So what would, if, what would we have heard if we got a decisive victory, which we did not? Sir, High Command extends its congratulations on the capital job you've done. Let's hope Jerry continues to underestimate the prowess of the Empire. Jerry! As for our next assignment, intelligence informs us that the Axis have once again gathered near the border of Cyrenaica and Tripolitania. 
Our orders are to dispatch this revitalized force and recapture El Aguila no later than the 20th of March. So we just got a scenario where we somehow still we lose El Aguila on off-screen action and have to take it back again. Okay. That would be the decisive victory, which is not what we got. What would have happened if we had actually completely lost in that scenario? Sir, High Command is dismayed that we have faltered. Another such defeat could imperil the whole of the Middle East. Through Ultra, we've surmised that the Axis will attack Thursday next. Tolbrook and her garrison are in jeopardy. Hence, High Command expects us to seize the advantage by striking first. It is imperative that we accomplish our objectives by year's end. Yeah, so the campaign tree in this game is, can get a little confused, because you got to bear in mind here, uh, for us to have lost that map, we'd have had to have lost Tobruk. And now the next mission is about Tobruk being in jeopardy. So apparently we regained Tobruk in off-screen action uh, for the next scenario of this one, where we're badly on the defense, and we um, lose Ella Gala back to them in off-screen action with the major victory. So really the only thing that seems to flow, assuming it does, is the minor victory we got. So we'll actually experience the real next scenario that we actually earned by holding to Brook, but not driving the Germans back from their advance next time. Catch you guys then.